Good afternoon, everyone. It's great to be here once again. I actually have the day off from training. Um, I did not plan on making a video today, but I, boy, I tell you, every day something pops up. Um, this next thing I'm going to talk briefly about, I actually have a podcast planned on the exact same thing that I was uh, was working on and was going to be putting together uh, with some scriptures and so forth. But I'm deciding to do this video now. And... Uh, I'm going to get right right to it, I guess. It, it's kind of time, whether you're a Christian or not a Christian, you know, pull up your big boy pants or your big girl pants. You're a grown person. You need to get your act together. It's just that simple. Don't call your mama, your daddy, your sister, your cousin, your uncle, your, your whatever. Don't call them for money. Don't call them for things. Don't keep putting your finger in the same electrical outlet and then zapping yourself and go, gee, I don't know what happened. Sometimes in life there are circumstances that happen to people. Absolutely. And there are people in this world who continually continually make those mistakes happen. They bring it upon themselves. And I'm th it, it, they need to just get it together. And if you are an enabler, we're going to get that in a second. You need to put your life together. Don't call yourself a Christian and say, uh, you know, I'm, 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 a, I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. But here's the thing. Um, everybody's out to get me. You have a lot of people like that. Christian and secular people. Listen, I have a sister who continually uses the, uh, now I haven't talked to her in a while, but she continually goes to churches and pull, uh, you, know, you know, cries, oh, poor, poor me. It's a, it's a rough life. Uh, I can't do, you know, life has been hard on me. And I'm telling you right now, she has brought every single one of them hardships upon herself. Not by making, like, poor decisions like, oh, man, that was a bad decision to make. No, it was her own selfishness, her own arrogance, her own desires that put her there every time. Because she knows that she can go somewhere who will take care of her. Because a lot of these churches will be like, well, we have to help those in need. But she's not in need. Now, we all have that family member out there. We all have one out there. And that's why we're actually supposed to disconnect from our earthly family. Not like a Mormon, not like JWs. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm not saying shunned and never speak to them once again in their entire lives. That's not what I'm saying. We are not to enable them. Those family members are not angels unaware. We don't, we, we're not entertaining angels that we don't know about. That's not what that's about. And a lot of people will think that. Or they have guilt. They have a guilt and a shame that they may have made a mistake in, in, in raising someone. Or maybe they did something to their cousin and now they think they can just keep repaying it. Well, that's how it works. If they can't forgive you for a person you are now, then they're the sinner, not you. That's all there is to it. You've gotten your forgiveness from God. Whether that other person wants to accept your forgiveness, if they want to accept your forgiveness but keep doing the same thing over and over and over and over again, yeah, I don't think so. In no way is that, uh, is that bub uh, biblical. Biblical. That is absolutely unbiblical. Listen, you can't... Now I just forgot what my first sentence is. My, see, my brain is like thinking way ahead right now. It is time for people to pull up their big boy pants. Or women pull up your big, uh, big girl dresses. Well, secular world, pull up, pull up your pants, your jeans. People get mad at me on that one, but those who know me know my know my opinion on that, my feelings biblically on that. But you cannot keep on doing the same thing. So what what happens here? That person, whoever they may be, whether it be your cousin, your daughter, your sister, your brother, your son, your niece, whatever it is, whoever that person is close. Remember, Satan will send devils, and Satan will use people that you love to destroy you. To attack your emotions. To destroy you. That's all there is to it. He will use who you love to destroy you. But the problem is they may not just destroy you. It may destroy your, your husband, your wife, your children. It may destroy all that. So it's not one person that gets messed up. It's multiple. It is absolutely multiple. And if you are an enabler of these things, well, you sinned against God and you sinned against your family. This family that you have. If you are raising children still and you have children outside the home. Now, the only people we are supposed to take care of, biblically speaking, in taking them in 
is our elders. So if you are a person out there who is continually using guilt, using your selfishness, going after people, whether it be family or churches, you're a loser. One man or woman, you are a loser. And you have to stop being a loser. You don't always have to be a loser. You can stop being a loser and a bum and controlled by Satan. You can repent from all of that. You don't have to beg people, organizations for money forever. You don't have to do that. And if you choose to do that, well, you're the sinner. And those who are enabling, same thing. You're sinning. You're sinning. You're sinning against God because we're not supposed to purposely help people who are who do not need help. And the devil's got control. We are to pray for them. Pray for them continuously. Not give them money. Not give them a car. Not give them housing. Not giving them all these things. Because you've done nothing to help them. You actually, as an enabler in that situation, for those type of losers and bums out there, you help them stay a loser and a bum. And you help them stay away from God. And there's even people who call themselves Christians, like I said, my sister. Those who call themselves Christians who are losers, sinners, bums, and they have devils inside them. It might be hard to accept sometimes, I get it. I don't talk to my family. I don't hate my family. I just don't talk to them. I don't get wrapped up in that. I disconnect from that. They've had my number. I think one only has my current number. But, or two have my current number, I think. Other than that, I don't get involved with that. And for secular people who who think this message doesn't go to you, it goes to you too. How often times do you get in a situation that's negative? And you're just like, oh, I just have to be here for a little while, and then I'm out of here. But the problem is that negativity latches on. See, that's demonic spirits. They latch on. And it continues throughout the day. Now, you've left that place you left the where you were with the negativity or you hung up the phone call with that negativity, but it follows. It stays with you. It stays with you because you willingly put yourself into that situation when you don't have to. But it's my family, is it? A, fam a family is supposed to truly love, not attack and not divide and cause friction and destruction. Well, I thank you for tuning in this afternoon. I appreciate it. Uh, obviously, I have some upcoming video uh, podcasts coming up. I'm hoping to get one out tonight. Uh, and I appreciate your time tuning in. And those who are having these problems, you need to deal with them because you will destroy your marriages. You will destroy your families. You will destroy everything that God gave you because your emotions outweighs your biblical decisions. God bless and good day.